fuck is up guys it's fan i'm here with a gameplay um this is yeah w nah, wmd on free for all and this was hilarious if you watch the uh the uh sniper gameplay i uploaded before then uh you know these guys or you saw them at least these were the funniest guys ever and all these games were right back to back and i told you guys i was gonna upload them all and these things are hilarious. I'm going to try to remember to put the uh, subtitles of what they're saying at the bottom since you can't hear me because I'm talking in a loud mouth and shit. But, oh, man, this match was hilarious. This is where um, I guess they got tired of being raped after like three games maybe. And uh, they, they kept calling other friends in. I just was raping those. So it, was, it was rape for everybody, butt sex for everyone. But what was hilarious is they did this. They had like the most people in one game ever in this one. I think it was like a whole party of people off of this guy's friend list, and I still was getting them. I died right there, but that's, that doesn't really matter. I died a few times in this match, but I, I could not stop laughing at the crap that they're saying. I think he's bragging that he killed me right now. And uh, again, like I said, I'm going to try to remember to put the, the subtitles on there. But, oh, man, this was hilarious. The next match, I believe, was probably the funniest one out of any game I've ever played. Just ever. Not just Call of Duty, just ever. Because uh, this was where they uh, that that was where they tried to gang up on me. And that went awful. I think they were like, were uh, old army guys or something. Because they kept making like you know references to like their service or whatever. But uh, and you know you should really feel bad about something like that. But I don't. It was hilarious. I'm sorry. I, I thank you for doing whatever you did in the service. <laughs> but also thank you for losing like this. But um anyway, yeah like I said it was butt sex for everybody. Um, you know, I wasn't being selfish. Anybody could come get it. Um, yeah, but my reticle actually, I I think I, I think I changed it recently. But uh, my reticle sometimes makes it awkward to see. So if that's in your way, I do apologize for that. The Wii, if you do know the Wii uh, gameplay, you can have custom reticles since we can't we can't have like the custom red dot sites, but we can have custom. And this was stupid. Like, okay, I fell for a really awkward uh or really obvious bait trap he threw a care package there and he threw his decoys around it so then i didn't know so that was actually a pretty smart thing and the guy was like camping really far away i think i get him back i'm not sure but um that was actually a smart thing that was a smart little tactic there that was probably like the first time i've ever fell for something like that too because usually when i see a care package out in the open i understand you know what, what's going on also, if you have you ever tried to shoot anybody through that grate, it's actually like impenetrable or whatever. Like I don't know what it is, but it's like still vagina. You cannot penetrate that thing. Like I, no matter what you do, then I got killed by another camper going for it again. So I think I just give up on it after that. Like fuck it, it's not worth it anyway. I think it's like a spy plan or something. I don't know. It's not. It's honestly not worth it. Like because they're clearly just camping the windows and stuff. But oh my god, I love scavenger with uh, tomahawk. That is like the best combination ever like that it's, it should be illegal like it saves you so much time just pick up another bag and boom you got your tomahawk back instead of having to stand there and like hold a or whatever button it is on your console to pick up your tomahawk it's just like run over the bag i gotta even see it. like you kind of feel bad about pwning people this hard like seriously it's like this is this isn't even like the the craziest match I've had, but it was funny. Like I was laughing so hard, like it was kind of it was rough trying to play. Like I was laughing so bad. And if you don't know, I use the Wii Mount Nunchuck combo. I don't have the sticks yet. Um, I, I don't know. Like I, I haven't really had a reason to buy a classic controller for the Wii. Like they don't they don't implement it enough. And I think he's complaining now about they should help him and that. They are abandoning their call to duty or something to to help them take down the phenom. It was hilarious, but um, there's not there's not a lot of games on Wii that need the class controller pro. Now I'm thinking about buying it just for this game though, like, cause the pro is is kind of like a, a PS controller I believe, and this guy was lacking hard. It's kind of like a PS controller I think, which would be really nice, cause sticks are easier to play Black Ops with, in my opinion, than the nunchuck. Some people try to say like point at the screen is more precise. It's fun, but it's not more precise, cause one of the sticks have aim assist the the nunchuck thing doesn't and the problem is like if your sense of bar is crooked or there's something in the way and this is hilarious everybody in this party just about is using second chance so i killed that guy and he had dropped his enemy into second chance so i stole this kill but um 
You know what I'm saying though? Uh, if like your sensor bar is on the like is crooked or like the little cord is blocking a teeny part of it, you can't point at every spot on the screen, which is annoying. Sometimes there'll be a guy like standing right there, and you're trying to aim at him, and the Wii model just like jump across the screen because something's blocking it. So the whole little motion sensor thing isn't isn't perfect yet. And here's another guy camping up here, and he's just like blind firing because I stunned him. But uh, I think I have dogs on in this match. I'm not 100. percent yeah, he's like at least had the decency to shoot him and put him out of his misery. That, that was hilarious. Like the whole everybody in the lobby like groans when I kill somebody. This was like the most more more fucking fun than like that New Year's Eve party where that girl got drunk and she just let everybody. Wait a second, I shouldn't be telling you guys about that. Just just ignore me sometimes. But anyway, that's Butt man. He's like the main guy who keeps calling all his little old army buddies and or whatever. And uh, man, it was just fun. He was just bringing in more people to pawn. Like honestly. And they called in like some Latino guy who uh I'm not gonna lie was pretty good, but he was so nerdy, like he was part of some Pokemon the Pokemon's clan or something. They I don't know, all their names was like different Pokemon and they they thought they were so badass, but um really was just a bunch of nerds. I don't know what they're they're screaming about right now. But I really am gonna try to to put the subtitles up. It's gonna be hard to hear because I the volume of the mic is is low for some reason. But I pick back up my claymore here, cause um I notice they keep they tend to camp in like obvious spots. Like everybody knows about the the camp spots on this match. I'm pretty sure like you know up in the window up on the uh by the water towers or whatever that is. Everybody camps in the same spot. So I like to put my claymores either around that ladder or if that's been inactive, I like to put it up there by the stairs. So when people run up in this this little spot right here, when I run up in there, they get a uh, Play mode. And uh I miss an easy tomahawk there. I don't know what was up with that, but uh and then and then the knife doesn't register. I hate second chance. Like I honestly I, much props to Treyarch. This game is really balanced. Like ninety percent of it. Um for one, like half the guns are underpowered. I know everybody wants to go, oh seventy four U is over but not not really. It's really not like the 74U is really close to like Galil and you know stuff like that. The if anything is overpowered, check out the Famas and the Og. And the Stoner 63 is actually kind of close to that, but I don't really mind Stoner 63 because the recoil kind of balances it out a bit, I believe. But uh, the Famas and the Og are so overpowered. Like the Famas, um, like we we all know, like the Og is the Famas's little brother, or at least in the Wii community, it is. Um, the FAMAS though, like the recoil is practically non-existent, nice drop shot there, um, it's practically non-existent, like there's like little to no recoil, the, your Wiimote will vibrate a whole bunch, so it's a good time to put it between your pants, but it, uh, it, it's just like so guy player, it's not even funny, like you can't, you can't really beat a FAMAS in a gunfight, no matter what you take to it, so if you're playing guys that, using, that are using the FAMAS, you gotta think smart, or like you know come in with some type of advantage like you're on the high ground or you stun them first or you know what I mean they don't see you this sucked the guy butt man finally got me listen to this you hear him talking shit now he's like oh, the free norm just got a Zayas kick like that was hilarious but um I actually wish I would have went back and got him too that's a little spoiler alert and then it's like they're complaining about how like they keep getting stuck in second chance and nobody can revive them and nobody is uh coming to put them out of their misery. They have to crawl around like a dog with a uh, you know something. That, yeah, you know, not even make that joke. But anyway, yeah, they they were kind of complaining about that. Like you should be able to revive and who would revive you in free for all? Like they were talking about this in the lobby. Who you're? It's free for all. For one, everybody hates second chance noobs. For two, and this this part sucked right here. For two. It's a uh, free for all. Don't know anybody that's gonna revive their unless you they like they were trying to gang up on me like in that type type of situation. Yeah, but it's free for all, so you shouldn't really be trying to gang up on anybody. Like you should be trying to be a man, you know, and rape some some face out there. I think that's the point of you know free for all to rape as many faces as you can by yourself. And, and hold on, actually, uh, check this, check this part out right here. This guy was camping like super hardcore. And he, uh, yeah, he got me right there. Listen. That feels good, man. <laughs> man. Also, sorry if you noticed the little audio glitch. My computer crashed. And I had to restart this. But he's like, that feels so good, man. The other guy's like, yes, it did. God, yes, it <laughs> Seriously, but, uh, 
Yeah, I had to come back. No, surprise, but sex. But anyway, that's it. That is the match. I was, um, what did I do? It wasn't like I was really, like, I didn't have my try-hard panties on or anything like that. I think it went 30-4 and four or 30-3 and three or something like that. I don't know. But uh, that was just a funny game. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's Phenom, and I will see you guys next time. So, deuces.